Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio. What's going on? Um. <laughs> I'm glad to hear so many of you identified with that uh, thing I was talking about in your intimate tarot reading last time. <laughs> If uh, there's two flavors of pizza I want to try, I'll just get both. <laughs> I got a freezer. <laughs> victory. Yes. Nice. Victory as to what? We shall see. Or you hope to have victory. Let's see what's going on. What else, please? What else, please? What else, please? It's like, I, got, I just can't pick one. I want to try both. I'm like, what? Magician in the mirror. Mm, manifestation, more or less. Some of you are really conceptualizing victory. Hardcore. The magician. We are conceptualizing victory. Was something? Possibly someone. Could be situational. What's going on? What else, please? Mm -hmm. Contract. Possibly something at work. Mm. Okay. Some of you are envisioning a victory lap, of course. What's going on? Man holding a coin. Third chakra. Archangel. Camel. I never say his name right. I know I don't. Your instinct. So you're trying to follow that instinct. I know exactly where your instinct is going too. <laughs> yeah, your instinct look good. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so victory here. I've been over connecting with Leo. We have the magician, a man holding a coin, more or less the king of pentacles, and then also what is your gut telling you? Okay, what is your gut dictating? All right. So some of you are trying to really pull towards you. You're visually conceptualizing, bringing something towards you in terms of career goals, money, both. Okay, trying to make something happen. You're listening to your gut instinct. When is the timing right? When to act on things, when to invest in things, when to move towards something. It could be love, it could be money, honey. It could be both. I don't know. We'll take a look, but that's a lot. That's a lot of self-will here. And you're determined to have victory in this, whatever it is that you choose. Mm-hmm. Your heart space feels open. Okay. Let's see what you're up to. Looks like you're up to a lot. <laughs> we'll see what you're up to. Mm -hmm. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio. What's going on? Good old Rider Waite right here. You haven't used this guy in a minute. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio. All right. Show me that recent past. Recent past, please. We're all in different timelines. It's kind of irrelevant. Okay. Ten of coins. Okay. You could be in partnership with somebody. Commitment value. Could be marriage. It could be that I am looking at a very successful Scorpio. Okay. Because <laughs> this is also technically business ownership. Okay, you have your own business. It's thriving. You're doing well within your community. You're gathering and garnering resources and so forth. Uh, some of you had to relocate in order to make this happen, and it was a sacrifice you were willing to make. It was something you took a chance and a risk on, and it was like it had a payout. Now, Ten of Pentacles also has the lesser representation of a strong truth. All right, let's see. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Show me what I need to see, please. What's that current looking like? What's that current looking like? This thing I look good. I feel good because I am good, baby. Yes. <laughs> Queen of Wands. <laughs> well, I have a lot of pride here, too. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. One does what one can. Okay, show me Scorpio's independent individual energy. Now, that may not be you, but I just have this feeling. Show me Scorpio's individual energy, please. Show me Scorpio's individual energy. Four of Cups, but yet you are dissatisfied. Emotionally. All is well in business, not so much in love, eh? Hmm. Is there anyone surrounding Scorpio at this time? Because even if somebody is presenting you a cup, baby, you ain't thrilled with it. Okay, so I'm not saying that you don't have options, but you're also like, no. Or you're just refusing to see, like, I just, I don't have time for other options right now. Or I don't have time to see your cup. Thank you very much. I'm the Queen of Wands and I'm trying to maintain a Ten of Pentacles here. What, why are you trying to give me this cup? Also could be out of the blue message. Either you to them, they to you. I don't know. 
I need to clarify. I'm terribly curious here. Show me who's surrounding Scorpio, please. Who's surrounding Scorpio, please? I can't tell if you're interested in this person or not, or if it just so busy you can't see them. Who is surrounding? Who is surrounding? They a worker too? <laughs> okay, they might literally work for you. Oh dear. Oh, that might be why you're pretending not to see them. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, well, it happens. <laughs> Uh-oh. So is that why you can't offer or take a cup? Because they might work with you or for you. Especially if you're putting off this much boss energy. King of coin. He is my boss card. You might well be the boss. Woman in charge. Whatever. Sex relevant tarot. I don't give a fuck. Um, the point is, is that you're obviously busy you look good, you feel good, you're putting out a certain energy, but you are acting disinterested or you actually are disinterested. And there is someone around you who is also equally busy and they might literally be within that Ten of Pentacles you have created. For some of you who are in commitments, you can't see anybody else, but there's someone interested in you at work. And, uh, you know, you're not trying to look at anybody else's cup because for some of you are in commitments. We gotta see. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's quite the quagmire, honey. We're gonna break this down. I just feel like you're so focused on your money and your successes. Uh, I mean, victory, magician, king of coin, what is your gut telling you? So for those of you who are like, I think that person might be interested in me at work, you are correct. They are. They are obviously doing a good job. They're clearly competent. They're clearly busy. Um, but that doesn't mean you have the luxury or you can afford to look at that cup. You know what I mean? Show me the future, please. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Sometimes they're vague. Oh. And sometimes they're specific. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please. I say that because I take pride in specificity. That's me. That's me as a tarot reader. I don't particularly care for the vague stuff. Because, frankly, that it could apply to anybody outside the collective or within it. Uh, so I prefer specificity. And then also I have that thing called intuition. So there's that Two of Cups in the future. Let's see what happens. King of Cups, that's you. We got love here. We got love here. What's in front of the King of Cups? What's in front of the King of Cups, please? What's in front of the King of Cups, please? Eight of Swords. We're refusing to see. You're refusing to see. You're refusing to see. Okay. What's the advice, please? You are refusing to see. The sun. Follow the sun. What's your overall? Honey. Honey. What's the overall, please? What's the overall, please? Tower. Fuck me. I knew it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know you're hoping this situation is going to go away. It's not. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I don't know that you're in a commitment. I don't because you pulled up the King of Pentacles. You could be running your own business or you're just really good at money making or you're just very, very involved in your community. This is what I do know. I see a Scorpio who is in a relationship and you're trying very hard not to see someone. Um, I believe they want to see you and you are trying to act like uh, you don't see them. Not in that way. Um, how far your relationship goes, I don't know. I just see that you are protecting it, like you're literally standing in front of it. And you're trying to protect your two of cups. Uh, some of you might have started seeing someone recently. And um, you're trying hard not to see somebody else who's kind of getting in your field of vision. Because um, you have the potential here to be happy. <laughs> and the tower is just like, fuck my life. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't think you were expecting it. Somebody might surprise and just kind of like reveal their truth to you. Um, because you seem to be very content with who you are and what you're about. And I do see you trying to safeguard what looks like, what feels like a new relationship. It feels like a new relationship, a new two of cups. You're trying to safeguard it. Okay. 
and it's like a, it's like I, I can't see other options because I'm developing this one and I, I feel like somebody wants to be considered and you're not in a position where you feel that you can see other people uh, so how far this relationship goes I don't know it doesn't feel like commitment this feels business oriented based on this okay but let's see what's going on what's going on I do feel like somebody is trying to get in your field of vision and you're trying like I don't That's you. That's what you're trying to do right now. It's like, mm 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 mm, -mm. Did you remember to put a cover on your TPS reports? <laughs> That's you. <laughs> you remember that movie? I love that movie. Office Space. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. One of the best. And that's an independent film. That's like one of the best independent films. Comedic independent films I've ever seen in my life is Office Space. Oh my God. All right. What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. It's like you're trying to look everywhere except that person. And I don't know if they're getting rude or up in your face, but it is. it does feel like a kind of day-to-day -day thing. Or a, practic a practicality of knowledge, bare minimum, that you might know this person. Show me this uh, Ten of Pentacles, please. That does feel like your community energy, your money energy. Exactly. Correct. Okay, called it. All right, the Empress is the most productive of all the cards in the tarot. She produces, she produces, she produces. You are doing something that generates a great deal of resources, money, business. Okay, or that's what you're working on. You might be working on your own particular empire at this time. Um, and you have to remember, and I have to say this all the time, the Emperor and Empress don't have to be married. On the contrary, they're so strong-willed, they don't need to be. Okay? It's usually the lesser court cards that are more concerned with marriage, whereas the emperor and empress are they're perfectly fine being on their own because they understand what their worth is. Um, so this is an empress. She's producing. You are producing in your recent past, so it's still kind of concurrent. Your mission here is success with that empire, whatever that may be. Your goals, they are large and they are grounded. And, and grounded, man. Like, they are well grounded. They're strong as hell. So good for you. Good for you. Now you could be married and somebody's in your peripheral or they're trying to get in your peripheral. And like I said, you ain't looking. You ain't trying to look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, thanks for that update, Brad. Um, I'll see you in the meeting. <laughs> Something like that. Because you know. You know. Okay, but yeah, highly productive. So you could be single or in a relationship. Either way... You're not trying to look at this person right now. <laughs> You're really not. Uh, show me this Queen of Wands, please. Show me this Queen of Wands. Currently, you look good. You feel good. Your energy's great. Uh, it could be this other person. I don't know. Uh-oh. 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 The Emperor. Aries. Lovers. Gemini. Scorpio. Death. Six of Cups. Oh, dear. Oh dear, yeah, somebody, somebody looking at you. And they're of emperor value, so they're a matching sweet mate, and they see it, they see it in you. Oh dear, they're very strong-willed, just as you are. Um, okay, that's, that's quite a bit. Okay, I don't know that you two are talking in that way. Honey, you're clearly in a relationship and it's not with this person. They're interested in seeing you as a lover. They're strong-willed, stubborn. Just like you. Um, and <laughs> you are, you're either trying to safeguard that Six of Cups, which I've seen over here with the Two of Cups. Like, that's you. Like, don't look at my business, don't look at my cups, which is very you. <laughs> um... Or, you know, this might be, it could be, an ex. And I say that because your energy still applies. This could be something that's, in your opinion, is over. They might be trying to resuscitate it. Okay? Because they're literally looking at you like a lover. Could be a lost lover. You know? We have the idea here that a love ended. A lover to a ship type situation ended. Between you and somebody else who is equally strong-willed, over the Queen of Wands, in other words, the attractions there. 
Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Can we narrow that down? With so many gone. Oh, Jesus. I mean, how many players we got in here? <laughs> okay. Stubborn. All right. That's who the other person is. Show me that Queen of Wands, please. Can we narrow that down? So, we know this. The Queen of Wands here, then, it seems to be applying to the both of you. There's attraction there. But it's also looking like something that ended some time ago. Show me that Queen of Wands, please. Show me that. Okay. Judgment. Decision. Divine timing. Oh, okay. Divine timing, how so? Or, again, judgment. It's a decision. How so? What is it here? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. We are determined to look only at our Ten of Cups. We are determined... And there you are at the underlying... No, I regret, I regret the attraction for you. Oh my. I regret the attraction for you. I am determined to look only at whatever your relationship is. Sorry, it's, it's new camera processing and I still have to remember where to look. <laughs> so yeah, I'm determined to look only at my Ten of Cups. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm only looking at my tens right now. Thank you. Um, that's it. It's a strong determination. You don't care that the attraction's still there. Um, four cups. I just, you're trying to remain emotionally detached from this. Uh, you're not looking at that cup. You're not taking it seriously. See, there it is. There's the offer. There it is. It's the offer to get together. Three cups with strength. I'm telling you, somebody is trying to meet with you again, and you are seeing someone else or you're in a relationship. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's taking strength for somebody to try to get together with you. Pride. They really want to. Could be Leo. Um, who else we got? We got Taurus Libra. We got Scorps. Twice. And then again Leo. You know, you're trying to act like you're not interested. There they are again. Oh my, it's very strong. Well, shit. Your intuition is still pulling you back to this person's energy. I know you understand it's a strong connection. I know. And someone's trying very hard to bring it together with you. At least, if anything, to get together. Three cups. Four cups. And Scorpio, you want to get together? And you're like... I'm sorry, I did not get that email. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Something like that. Okay. Um, this isn't, obviously, it's an old connection. This is a strong one. They have as equally strong and as stubborn energy as you. Uh, I gotta do a time check on that. All right. The person surrounding you, Eight of Pentacles, is the Eight of Pentacles, is the Eight of Pentacles. You've made a determination to focus on your relationship and or your commitment, whatever that level is to you, whatever level that is to you. Uh, you are determined to not, or act disinterested, or just completely disconnected from whatever this is, okay? Some of the Eight of Pentacles, in other words, you're, you're showing that you're not interested. Um, they miss you. Four swords to the Three of Swords. Okay, they miss you. While they're working, that's when they have the thoughts of you the most. There's that King of Wands looking at you. Um, they miss you. You know, they've thought about it a great deal. They have been working through it. Oh, dear. A lot of it is sexual energy, not going to lie. A lot of it is sexual energy. Or you suspect it is, and that's why you're not giving them much credence. You strongly suspect most of it is just sexual energy. Okay, and the lover's energy, you know, it's not just sexual energy. The lover's connection is very strong. If you've been around my channel, you should know that. It's the strongest connection you could possibly have. It's the spiritual, it's the emotional, it's the sexual bonding. It's all the bonding types. That means it's really strong. You seem to be convinced that they're just interested in me for the sexual thing. Um, that they're just turned on by me. Legitimately, though, from their energy, from their standpoint, it, they do actually miss you. Miss you. It wasn't just sexual energy to them. Um, they actually generally do miss you. Okay. Uh, 
especially more so at work, that's when they seem to think about you the most. Mm. Something about their energy might have freed up recently or become neutralized. They're a positive 10 and a negative 10. They're canceling each other out. They might have recently exited something toxic or difficult or codependent, which would explain that. But yes, in their working moments specifically, that's when they seem to think about you the most. So something in their world ended and they are approaching you. It looks like you're in some sort of relationship. For some of you, it's new and for some of you, it's established. I can't tell which is which. I'm seeing it both ways. Kind of irrelevant. The point is, is that you're feeling the need to safeguard it. Um, and you're like, I'm determined to not meet with this person. I will not meet with this person. I will not look at that person that way. I will not look at them that way. I will not look at them that way. <laughs> Something like that. Anything else, please? Okay, I know. It's the Six of Cups. I saw that earlier. It's, it's, it's the X and it's the one. It's the big one. It's the big one. It's the one that you still feel attached to. Because, again, it's the lover's energy. It's stronger than sexual attraction. That's why you still feel it intuitively and it fucking drives you crazy. And don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that one. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that one. Okay. There he is again. Mm-hmm. Something in this person's world has ended. They are trying to readdress things with you. You're probably both wiser for wear as people. You both pulled ranking cards. Like I said, these are the two most independent people in the deck. They don't have to be together. On the contrary, they're so strong-willed they can often push each other apart. Okay. They think about you a lot. More so when they're working. You both have that in common. You both take your work, your pentacles, and your business very seriously. Okay? They want to get together with you and you're struggling with it. You're struggling with it, but it seems like your attention, your immediate attention, is determined to stay focused on your Ten of Cups. Your happiness with this other person does not have to be a commitment, but it could be. Again, I'm seeing a self-directed uh, Scorpio. You're earning your own money, business, etc. Or you're just really, really involved um, in your local resources and or community. Okay. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Show me please, show me the future please, for Scorpio. Show me this two of cups, show me this two of cups, show me this two of cups. Well, I can tell you this, honey, willful blindness isn't going to stay. It's only going to have so much say, you know. It's, it's, or it's willful blindness. Here you are, like, I can't really, see, I can't see this person. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about this person. Mm. Show me this two of cups. I do believe this is the relationship you are developing. I will try to do a time check on it. Show me that Two of Cups, please. Could be with a fellow Scorpio. Five of Swords. You don't want to fuck it up. You. Could be with a fellow Scorpio. Like I said, you don't want to fuck it up. You don't want to fuck it up. You know? You don't want to cause unnecessary heartbreak. You're putting an end to all these concepts. You know? So if this person lost you in the past, you don't want to do it to somebody else, something like that. Um, you don't want to fuck it up. You don't want to manipulate, and you don't want to cause heart pain. Okay? That's it's pretty straightforward. It's your truth. Right there. Queen of Cups to the Ace of Swords. Show me the King of Cups, please. Show me that King of Cups. I don't know how new or old that is. I really want to do a time check on it. Show me. Strength. You are being strong at this time. I already saw it back here. The strength to push away a reconnection with this person who very much wants to see you again. Um, they think about you a great deal. More so at work. I don't know why that's coming across so strongly. Um, but you've made the determination to keep your focus on whatever this relationship is. Show me this Eight of Swords, please. Willful blindness. So let's be careful with that, yeah? the world like I said that's not gonna work forever that has to eventually come to an end show me you are trying to enter into something new true enough fair enough and perhaps that's perhaps that's your plan I'm going to enter into something new and I refuse to see or look at anyone else that causes you conflict five of wands why why does it cause you oh 
okay? Ah, uh, because without you knowing you, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, because without you knowing, and here's why you're conflicted about completely closing up, just opening a new cycle, you're conflicted about it because you manifested this person for so long. That's why, that's why it's fucking with you so much. This was like the love connection. I saw it a couple times with this person. The one that's the most complicated. The, you, you, you manifested them possibly even to the point of obsession. You know, and perhaps you forgot about that. Yeah, perhaps you didn't know. Again, willful blindness with that two of swords. I'm not manifesting them. I'm not man. Yeah, you are. Or you were. So that would explain it, man. All that willful blindness, you kept manifesting them and manifesting them and manifesting them, acting like you weren't. And by the time you're ready to open a cycle with someone new, that's when they come back around, man. You know? <sighs> mm, that's why you're conflicted. You are keeping this relationship it's nobody else's business, you are protecting it, which is very much what you do. Um, you refuse to manipulate and you refuse to cause somebody pain. All right, this Two of Cups is important to you. You seem to be determined to keep your focus on it. Uh, it's taking you strength to do this. This is the person that you always wanted back in your life. However, this is why all the conflict is here, Five of Wands. This is the person you always wanted back. Could literally be Capricorn as well. Um, you always wanted this person back and you manifested them. It was almost like blindfold manifestation. You're like, you never took it seriously. Um, but at one point you did. Okay, well, they're back now. I don't know that they're malicious. They seem to have a lot of pain attached to them when it comes to you. Um, they remember your particular, what I saw there earlier with uh, that clarification is that they have a very strong impression that you specifically, you Scorpio are their lover and you're like, I'm determined to put that Six of Cups behind me. Um, they were literally looking at you as their lover. That's quite fascinating. Okay, it's like, I, I know you, Scorpio. I remember you, and I want that with you again. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun is your advice is to live, in the, to live in the sun. So how you live in the sun is up to you. It depends on what you define the sun as. Okay, show me the sun. Show me the sun, please. I, I just know you didn't expect any of this shit. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Show me. How so? How so? Five of Pentacles to the sun. It's going to hurt you to do it. So you're going to have to walk. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt gonna hurt you to do it. You're gonna have to be the Empress again and block the connection. You're gonna have to abandon it. I know this is the one you always thought would make you happy. So here you are, the Empress again, blocking communication and action. However, Another interpretation, I can't lie. Some of you will be walking towards that which you have abandoned. It depends, again, like I said, on whom you identify as your son. You could be blocking this person or walking back towards them. Tower twice. Show me the tower. It was quite the surprise three cups over the tower. It was quite the surprise. A happy surprise. It felt good. Don't get me wrong. But it immediately kicked off your intuition about what to do. And it, you went into a place of reservation almost immediately. You reserved your energy almost. You withdrew it immediately because you didn't know what to do. Um, so that three cups over the tower, you weren't expecting this connection, reconnection. Like I said, you gave up on it. You manifested it blindly, probably because you didn't take it seriously. You really wanted this person for a long time. Oh, well, bonkers, honey, bonkers. Well, it helps you. You're doing quite well in your career. Congratulations. You have a lot of victories there. And you busted your ass for it. Okay, you're manifesting that coin, you're manifesting the business, and your best manifestations there. So congratulations. <laughs>
that's what I don't know something in this person's world ended I saw the neutrality of it so they got reset to point zero okay they remember you strongly as the lover and they have heart pain surrounding the idea of you uh, they're quite insistent and I'm not gonna say obnoxious I'm not they're just insistent it's like they know what they want that's one of the benefits of being the Emperor and the Empress I know what I want and I want Scorpio I want to try again you know, in their estimation, you're the one that got away too. Works both ways, the lovers. You pulled up the lovers, so did they. You pull, they pulled up members, so they did, etc. So you both have a very similar disposition when it comes to each other's energy. Um, so it's not that they're doing anything wrong. It's just disruptive. It was a surprise. It was a surprise connection, and well, I should say surprise reconnection. You just didn't see it coming. So it very well could be that four cups could very well be an out of the blue message, and you like I don't know what to do with that because there was a there was a time I would have given anything to get that message that out of the blue message and now that I have it what the fuck do I do with it and it's taking you strength to either accept that or to block it okay and like I said it just depends how far you are in this relationship I don't know you seem to be focusing on a ten of cups like you've decided on a course of ten of cups I don't know that you've actually committed to it but you I'm looking at a Scorpio who said I am on a course for ten of cups and I don't want to fuck it up and I say that because it's over here with your two of cups value I don't want to hurt this person and I don't want to manipulate them so that tells me you're in the process of developing a new relationship um, or one that hasn't gone into full commitment yet so that's terribly interesting you let me know as you see fit uh, but yeah all right, let's do a couple of time checks here. We gotta wrap this. Okay, um, where do I even start? Good night, there's so much to work with. Okay, this is disruption. That's a key piece. It's a surprise. It's not that they're obnoxious and I don't think that they're an asshole. It's just they're insistent. Scorpio, I wanna see you. Um, they don't really have a problem saying what it is that they want, so good for them. But also it was just unexpected. And I can't really get much on this person over here because it's still developing. So, when this person is a potential Ten of Cups, therefore a potential happiness. This is the person you always wanted, so therefore also a potential source of happiness. You're going to have to either walk away from them or walk towards them. Alright, show me. I'm telling you, it's still developing. Show me... Uh, when did Scorpio start seeing dating this person? When did Scorpio start seeing dating this person? This new, this new two of cups, who is this? Or when? Could literally be Pisces. You might have met this person last spring. Five. Okay. It was very swift. You moved towards them very swiftly, which is very like you. You might have met them last April, May. April, May, April, May. Or Pisces season, right there. Specifically, some of you for the 18th. Okay, what else, please? For some of you, it was this July. Uh, and it felt like the timing was right. Okay, for some of you, specifically the 27th. But for some of you, you met this person literally last July, or you just recently, just like recently started, like recently, recently started communicating with this person, but they have a lot of promise, right? Okay. For some of you seven, like you literally could have started talking to this person a week ago. Okay. The communication started out small. Oh, look at, look at you two. Oh, look, you're talking. Look at you two. Oh, you're talking. It's cute. I love it. Look, there's two pages between four wands. You like each other rather quickly, rather easily. You seem to have a lot in common. You seem to be marrying each other very well, this new person. For some of you, again, you met this person last spring. And for some of you, like now now like really recently you just started talking and it feels good it feels correct you seem to be mirroring each other's goals and ambitions very easily uh so yeah this looks like a new relationship right here okay good oh lovely that's so cute okay when does big daddy come around that's i call the emperor big daddy when he come around when does he come back around please show me when surprise reconnection show me when 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 the reconnection, please. Show me when on that reconnection. For some of you, you met this person in an outdoor space, marketplace, or at a wedding, four of wands. That can be event specific. Okay, show me that when. The surprise reconnection, show me when. Show me when. 
often does this person reintroduce them? So four cups again. Whoa. Could be four months from now. Four days, it's out of the blue message. It's, in other words, it's a surprise. And there's the offer to get together. Could be the end of the year. Where does, where does four months put us? September, October, November, December. End of the year, start of the year, January possibly. Ooh. Any other time markers, please, for the reentry of the lover? Reentry, please. Any other time markers? Seven for some of you. It already happened in July, or it will happen in seven weeks from now, possibly. For some of you, October. But this is almost like they grieve you sometimes. They wouldn't allow that to show, but they grieve you. 24. There goes AC. So for some of you, October, for some of you, four months from now. Any other seasonals? So this person, that makes sense then. You start developing something with this person now. You get comfortable with their energy. You see a pathway to a ten of cups. You seem to marry each other. And especially your communication patterns, it starts out equal and lovely. And then over here, boom, surprise reconnection with this person it is out of the blue. For some of you, it's very soon. And again, possibly January. One month. I don't know. Again, October. Heavy October references for some of you. Okay, Scorpio, I hope this was helpful to you. Where are we? Oh, God, no. We gotta go. <laughs> this is fascinating. I hope this helped you. Um, so, what do you do? Uh, oh, boy. The one that got away, eh? But if it helps you, you're doing well in everything else. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah just when you start showing I know it's you're like I'm, I'm on this ten of cups pathway boom all right Scorpio I hope this helped you put it in the comments as you see fit take care be well